alleged that young Miami and her female cousins were at Diddy's Miami house. And while there, Rodney was in the bathroom and Miami's cousin comes into the bathroom and essays Rodney. He believes that Diddy gave him something. Rodney says he recalls waking up naked, dizzy and confused and in bed with some workers and Diddy. Hey, I'm gonna do a gay friend with me in my glam room. I'm going for like a... In a recent legal development, Rodney Jones, a producer, has filed a lawsuit against Diddy, alleging disturbing incidents that occurred during their collaboration on Diddy's album, Off the Grid, from September 2022 to November 2023. Jones accuses Diddy of coercing him into substance use and making threats. Among the allegations, Jones implicates a cousin of Diddy's ex-girlfriend, Young Miami, from the rap Do City Girls. Young Miami, amidst the legal turmoil, has been facing personal challenges. The 28-year-old artist recently disclosed on Instagram a need for a break from social media and work due to a mental breakdown. While some speculated that her distress was linked to Diddy, Young Miami clarified that she was dealing with private matters, distancing herself from the ongoing controversy. The lawsuit's emergence has resulted in notable silence from Diddy's former girlfriend. The allegations from Jones, known as Lil Rod, have stirred considerable attention, shedding light on the complexities surrounding the music industry. As this legal saga unfolds, the tangled web of accusations and personal struggles underscores the challenges faced by artists and collaborators within the entertainment sphere. I had a mental breakdown because of some shit that I was going through in my personal work life, like about work, like some shit that I was going through it had nothing to do with it. In the complaint filed by plaintiff Rodney in New York federal court, the producer accused Combs of groping and touching his behind and trying to condition him into engaging in intimate acts with Combs and other individuals, including Love Album producer Stephen Aaron Jordan and a cousin of Combs' ex-girlfriend, Young Miami. He also claimed that Combs forced him to solicit workers, some of whom were underage, to perform questionable acts to the pleasure of Mr. Combs. In one instance, he claimed to have witnessed Diddy and Young Miami doing cocaine together. These are heavy allegations, and Ron has laid them out for the world to see. All the fuss about Diddy forcing people to be intimate has brought to light the recent commotion two of his exes caused on social media a few months back. Young Miami and Gina Hoon went back and forth on social media with each other amid the arrival of Diddy's new baby. City Girls singer and her former rival, Gina, started their spat again after Gina took to Instagram mocking Miami for defending Diddy for allegedly cheating on her. It wasn't the first time the pair had drama over Diddy, and young Miami had harsh words for Gina. She tweeted, Gina, you've been down bad ever since I came into the picture. You've been crying for a baby for 10 years. You've been around as a bee, eating that private ND when he feels like it. You a eater. You're the same bee that was crying on Tasha K because you wanted a baby. Poor sushi. Until now, it seemed like normal jealousy between exes, nothing too significant. However, in the next few sentences, it was hinted that Miami might have been an accomplice in forcing people to do unthinkable acts to please herself and Diddy. She said, if I wanted you to eat my private, Diddy would have had you on your knees. Oh, you a eater. Fans have been speculating that much more has been going on in Diddy's rumored relationship than they were both letting on. Following the news that Diddy is being sued, DJ Academics weighed in on the latest scandal involving the bad boy entertainment founder. The blogger blamed Diddy's former girlfriend's tweets for the latest litigation. AK posted on X saying, It's young Miami's fault Diddy's back in the news. I told her to shut up and she wouldn't stop. Now look, a guy making claims versus Diddy and young Miami 305 stay in a place and shut up. You're getting your sugar Diddy into too much problems. In another post, he said, Remember when Carisha said that Jenna girl was an eater? None of y'all asked how TF she knew all that. I told y'all, man, them freak-offs might have been facilitated by Kisha Maxwell. Diddy's team has shared the following statement via his attorney, Seen Holly, about the lawsuit. Lil Rod is nothing more than a liar who filed a $30 million lawsuit, shamelessly, looking for an undeserved payday. His reckless name-dropping about events that are pure fiction and simply did not happen is nothing more than a rewrite. It appears that there's a concerted effort to attract attention with claims that have been backed by overwhelming and indisputable proof of falsehoods. Recently, there have been developments in the legal situation involving Diddy, with Young seemingly distancing herself from the mess swiftly. 
While Young has remained tight-lipped about Diddy's legal entanglements, she has been actively involved in planning events. Interestingly, Diddy's absence from these events hasn't gone unnoticed, raising speculation among fans and critics alike. The lawsuit filed by attorney Tyron Blackburn has expanded to include several more defendants allegedly involved in an elaborate conspiracy. This includes Universal Music Group, UMG, N-Town Records, Lucian Grange, UMG Chairman and CEO, former M-Town CEO Ethiopia Haftamariam, Christina Corum, Comms Chief of Staff, and Comms son Justin. The lawsuit, framed under the federal RICO cases, seeks damages for loss of income, mental anguish, humiliation, embarrassment, stress, anxiety, emotional pain and suffering, emotional distress, punitive damages, and legal costs. Jones's lawsuit adds to a series of legal challenges faced by comms in recent months. Prior complaints, such as the one from Cassie Ventura, detailed disturbing allegations of coercion and abuse. Ventura's ordeal, which lasted nearly a decade, sheds light on the challenges faced by individuals seeking to break free from powerful figures like comms. Despite settling the lawsuit swiftly, Ventura's statement hints at the underlying power dynamics and the toll such experiences take on survivors. The terms of the settlement remain undisclosed, prompting speculation about the negotiations behind closed doors. Holmes attorney, Ben Bratman, emphasized the settlement's significance, but the lack of transparency fuels skepticism among observers. The decision to settle, especially in high-profile cases, often involves complex negotiations and strategic considerations. Throughout these legal battles, the power dynamics and the challenges faced by survivors have come to the forefront. The ability to speak out against powerful figures like comms is often hindered by fear and intimidation. Ventura's decision to resolve the matter amicably underscores the complexities of seeking justice in such cases. While the legal proceedings offer a glimpse into the intricate web of power and influence, they also raise broader questions about accountability and transparency. The settlement, while providing closure for Ventura, leaves lingering doubts about the extent of justice served. As the legal saga unfolds, it serves as a sobering reminder of the complexities involved in confronting abuse and seeking accountability in the public eye. In 2023, Mr. Cole's decision to settle the lawsuit shouldn't be misconstrued as an admission of wrongdoing. His choice to settle doesn't weaken his staunch denial of the claims. He's content with reaching a mutual agreement and extends his best wishes to Ms. Ventura. Recall the rumors surrounding Miami allegedly receiving pocket money from Diddy, totaling a staggering $500,000. Fans considered this a significant red flag, suggesting such a sum usually entails involvement in shady dealings. One observer noted the stark contrast between the efforts normal individuals exert to earn modest incomes and the implications of receiving half a million dollars monthly. It's widely believed that such wealth acquisition often involves compromising one's morals. Now, as Diddy faces serious allegations, many view it as a fulfillment of Cat Williams' prediction. Williams prophesied Diddy's downfall in 2024, emphasizing a pattern of high-profile figures facing scrutiny and reckoning. He asserted that race holds no sway in these matters. It's a divide between morality and deception. Williams highlighted how discussions about Michael Jackson and R. Kelly led to his own ostracization, indicating a prevailing tendency to shield influential figures from accountability. However, he stressed that 2024 would bring a reckoning for all, regardless of stature or influence. Whether it's Diddy, T.D. Jakes, or any other prominent figure, he predicted that lies and misdeeds would be exposed. As the year unfolds, it remains to be seen how these events will shape the landscape of public perception and accountability. Thus, the unfolding saga prompts reflection on the complexities of power, influence, and the quest for truth in the realm of celebrity culture.